Hello everyone, how are we all? Um, hope you're all doing okay and life's treating you very well. Everything's fine here in the northwest of England. It's actually quite a nice day today, so I thought I would say hi and come back with another cute little chain link idea for you. Perfect for the beginner, as always. Um, look at these, aren't they gorgeous? Can you see the construction of those? So you can use them for pendants, for bracelets like this one. Aren't they lovely? Real sweet. And if you make them slightly smaller, I've made this little charm bracelet here for my daughter. Isn't that sweet? Okay, so this is a really, really easy and beginner friendly chain link tutorial. So perfect for the beginner. Okay, so let's have a look at what we need. Really basic ingredients as always. Okay, so one millimeter bare copper wire or like this silver plated copper wire, equally as beautiful. Use whatever you wire you like, as long as it's got a bit of handle to it and it's not too soft, okay? And you'll need a pair of flush cutters, as always, a pair of chain nose pliers, and I'm using my six step, two to nine millimeter on this one. Um, and the measurements that I'm using today will be based upon the two to nine millimeter um, six step bail making pliers okay so let's go ahead and have a look at this cute little link okay so i'll see you in a second okay so we're back hope you've gathered all your materials together so this little guy here you can make in a couple of different sizes you could probably make them in, in lar much larger sizes too but i'll just show you how to make this particular size i will take this off and show you the difference Okay, so this one here is made with four centimetre lengths and this one here is made with three and a half centimetre lengths. So can you see the slight difference in the size? These ones are more sort of stubby and cute and smaller and these ones are more elongated. So the length of your initial wire determines you know, the size of the finished link. Okay, so I'll teach you how to make this particular size here, but then you can obviously just go ahead and have a go at making different sizes. All right. So for this particular link here, each one of them takes four centimeters of wire. All right, so get your one millimeter copper wire or whichever wire you're using, obviously. And as always, and we flush cut the end for neatness. Let's pop those out of the way. Okay, so come in with your ruler and measure your four centimetre lengths. Now, what I like to do when I make these in front of the TV or when I'm listening to some music or a podcast or something is I will cut lots and lots and lots of the same length, okay? And then just do what I call like a production line, which by which I mean do the same on. I'll show you what I mean. <laughs> so we take the wire, pop it at the end of the plier. And we're going to be using the first step on this two to nine um, millimeter bail making plier. OK, so wind and wrap round. And then just with your nail, you want to put a little bend in it, like you're making an eye pin, essentially. OK, you want to do the same on the other side, but it wants to go, the opening wants to go in the opposite direction. And the reason for that is because when we make the link, it gives it a bit more stability. OK, so exactly the same on the other side, ensuring that the openings go in the opposite direction. So make a little bend in it. So you've got essentially a double eye pin. All right. You then pop the, the piece on to its side like so. Not like this, like this. And then come in with the second step of your plier. Okay, find the centre and then bend like so, making sure 
that the ends of here are level. So if you have to sort of tweak it round a little bit, okay, so that they're level. Can you see that? This is your first link. So it looks like so. Then you come in with your chain nose and very gently squash those two hoops together. If they're slightly offset, just give it a tweak so that we have this. Okay, that's our first link. So these guys are made linking one at a time. So if you're doing the production line, you would just make each one of these one one ended okay so like so and then like so so just one hoop on the side on the end like so okay so i would go ahead and make lots of these like that okay the next part is we take this guy and then pop this small two hoops over the top. Okay, so over the top of there so that it dangles off here. And then essentially we want to do the same thing, making sure that the openings are going in the opposite directions. Put another hoop on the other side a little bend in it like an eye pin so that you have this okay again turning it onto the side so that the hoops are facing like that take the second step and bend around like so okay so as you can see that one is now attached. So again, come in with your chain nose, give it a squish, just give them a quick tidy up if they're a little offset. All right, okay, so we'll just do one more. So you take your little eye pin, essentially that's what you've made. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then with the next link, put the two smaller hoops over this pin part here. And again, that way. And use your first step so that the openings of these loops are in opposite directions. Pop towards the end of the plier. Wind it round, like so. So you have this. Okay, and then back, like so. And just keep bending and going until you've got your desired length of chain. It's really that easy, guys. It's a beautiful, sweet little chain, great little link that you can use for all sorts of things actually, but I, I use them mainly for um, pendants and um, bracelets, but essentially you could you could use that as a little teardrop um, base for an earring, couldn't you? You could pop a jump ring in the top um, and a bead maybe off the bottom of it. I mean, how sweet is that? Really sturdy and like I said, great for pendants like so. Uh, great for little charm bracelets, which I'll put the measurements of the different lengths, okay, and the different sizes in the description box for you. So hope you have lots of fun making those. I will add this to my new playlist, um, which is all about chains. Okay, so have fun with that, and I will see you in my next video. Have a lovely week, guys. See you soon.